I'm Martin Sensmeyer and welcome to my hometown of Yakutat, Alaska. Yakutat is a small fishing village located at the top of the southeast panhandle, the northernmost community in southeast Alaska with a population of less than 600 people. It's a popular destination for outdoor photography, fishing, hunting, and even surfing. Although it's very remote, getting here is as easy as boarding an Alaska Airlines jet. So we're headed to the boat harbor right now. We're gonna meet up with Gary Kleshkan and take a short boat ride to the glacier. My dad gets to come, so I'm pretty excited about that. Hey, hey, how's it going? Hey, Martin, good, how you doing? Oh, not too bad. You ready to go see the Hubbard Glacier? Yes, sir, Let's do it. All right. My dad. Hey, Ray. See ya. Good to see you. Right. Off to the glacier. All right, let's check it out. We're uh, on our way on a short boat ride here, about 30 minutes to the world famous Hubbard Glacier, the largest tidal glacier in the world. Its average height is 350 feet tall with a distance of 6.9 miles across the face of it. Wow. And surrounding the whole Yakutat Bay area here are uh, the tallest coastal mountain range, just over 14,000 foot. Awesome. Uh, I love this trip for sure. Never get tired of it. Makes you kind of nervous being in here, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely gets the hair on your neck standing up. Man, that was an epic day at the ice. Thank yes. you for taking us up. You're welcome. Thanks for choosing me to take you. So we're kind of getting into fall time right now, and it's rainy and windy, obviously, but Cannon Beach is kind of like the go-to spot for everybody. But growing up, some of my best memories were at Cannon Beach because you got 20 miles of nothing but sand and waves. You know, you could gather driftwood along the beach and build a fire, roast some hot dogs, marshmallows, hang out. The kids can run around. Man, it's just, a, just an awesome place. Now we're going to go meet up with my old classmate, Gloria, and uh, check out the surf camp. See if we can't catch some waves. What's up, man? What's Welcome up? back. <laughs> so what's going on? Trying to get these kids to learn about surfing. So tell me about the surf camp. When did you guys start that? It's actually a year three of surf camp. Oh, sweet. It's open to all ages, especially 8 to 24. We're trying to get our own local kids from Yakta to be surfing, but everyone's welcome. Um, we usually go the full day, uh, oh, cool. 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. And we serve a lunch, and we have all the boards and wetsuits, so nobody even has to have any experience. They don't need to uh, have any equipment. They just show up. We have instructors, and we have a really good time about it, teaching them how to live in Yakta in these rough waters and how to navigate and be safe. You know, they're all in fishing families and fishing communities, and yeah. so to learn how to be swimming in it for hours and surf. Like, we live here, we might as well know how to surf, right? We always see everybody else surfing. Now we gotta teach our kids. Yeah. <laughs> 